Um, good. I think we're all here on uh, yeah, KMC Campus here to discuss uh, the, the amended site plan at 46 Cedar Road. Are you the applicant? Mm -hmm. um, have, have people, you, you've just bought the property as I understand it. Have people explained to you what the process is, what we're doing here, and why? Yes. Okay. So we reviewed this property because the construction exceeded a limit that kicked it into site plan review by the plan. And we issued a set of conditions uh, in connection with that application. Did, did people explain that to you? All right. Uh, and so, what we're here to do is discuss your petition to change the conditions, at least with respect to some aspect of the site. Um, but I just want to make it clear that we could agree with what you're doing, ask you to or tell you to modify what you're doing, or simply revert back to what was initially decided um, in the initial application. Right. I mean, I guess the that one, yeah, but the one, Kevin, as my understanding, the initial application, the fence was always labeled as temporary. It was just put up so that we could get the pool in safely. I, I don't think it was presented to us as a temporary fence. It was presented to us as a feature of the plan. And we talked about the fence in the review, in the initial review. So, I mean, we, we, there were several, there was discussion about the fence and whether, you know, and, and its location and in particular impacts of that fence, which is really a pool enclosure, um, on, on a butters. So, just, just to be clear, I mean, we did, we did discuss that uh, in, in our initial review. So, as I understand it, what you would like to do is relocate the fence that was initially nearer your house to out to the property, to, to, to close to the edge of the property lines. Is that is that accurate? Okay. Um, and our our job is to determine whether that would be an acceptable change to the initial conditions that we imposed on the property. Okay. Just, okay. So that's what we're doing. Okay. All right. So is, any, is somebody going to present uh, the proposed amendment or is um, it going to work? Jonathan White. Um, I was representing um, the courses tonight. Um, uh, I was brought on board last week because um, this, the course you knew that I, I know the property. Um, I represented the person who sold to them and really hadn't been involved since the end of December. Um, but so I'm going to help with the presentation, but we also have the builder, Wayne Caruso, here um, to uh, answer questions and help. I guess the, the first thing I can show you is I have a photograph of um, the fence that's there now. Where do you want to put the fence? Um, we have it shown right here. All right, if we come up? Yes, please. Why don't you come up, Kathleen Wayne. And... No, that's where the fence is now. That's right. And the blue is where it's proposed. proposal. And the, the area that the most time has been spent uh, the last week or so with Joe and then, then today with Kim was... Um, this stretch, um, folks come up there too in the audience, those are interested. Along this stretch here, which is the Canberra sure. property. Um, so the closed distance there uh, to the property line is, is right now with the, uh, some posts were put in, was, was um, is the very closest, it's by far the closest is four feet. Out there tonight we saw we could fairly easily and we cut on the other side of a tree make it five feet. So the proposal here is it's a black wire mesh fence. That I, I, my understanding is the type that the board would consider because it's the type that blends in most. 
Um, and they're proposing some four foot fence. They're proposing three to four foot uh, rhododendrons, uh, 15 of them. Um, I think working with Joe, at, in the sense was that was, was how far it ought to go. Um, and I understand roadies grow six to 12 inches a year. Um, so that's the proposal. Um, I'll, I'll let Kim speak for, her, for herself, and then there was some concern about interfering with the, uh, the roots of the existing vegetation. And, and the proposal we came up with was um, you know, they have to be done by hand. So the proposal was on the day we're going to dig it, we will start digging, and Kim would be there. And, and it looks like she thinks it's going to cause damage to uh, a couple of trees. I think there's three trees that provide some overstory there. Then the, 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 the intent would be, she, I think there's a stretch of about four permanent evergreens <coughs> that, that she has concern behind them that we have to put it in front. The concern with the front, and Wayne can speak to it, is just how, how close the uh, septic system comes to the, to the trees there. But the, even backtracking for a second, the concern uh, that they have right now is it's a relatively small yard and the fence kind of breaks it up quite substantially. They have two 12-year-olds, one of them, they're twins, one of them is quite athletic wanted to get a little more use of the yard and, and the other other uh, thing they have they have a 14 pound um, you know, a she shot um, dog so they can't put an invisible fence there because the coyotes would get it so they, they just rather have for both reasons they'd like to push out the yard um, so, so it would be difficult to get the fence on the other side because of the septic of the leech field. Yes. Um, so the thought was, let's But if Kim has has concerns about it when she sees them starting to dig the hole, then they're going to have to find a way to somehow get it uh, on the very edge of the leech field. Uh, what they have on the leech field. Is, yeah, they have both the leech field and these um, inspection covers right there. One of the the last inspection cover. Is, is is right inside, right up against the bushes. Um, and, and as you can see, the inspection cover, there's still a little bit of leach field after the inspection cover. So it's, if I can just tell you. Also, it's an interjection, sir. Okay. Um, originally, I was trying to get some sort of alignment that brought it in closer to here, right behind this tree, in between this one is a plastic cover. Um, originally, when we were out there, it was thought that that was an inspection port, which in talking to the board help, um, she said if that was an inspection port, then this whole tree is within the, the septic field. So she questions whether that really is an inspection port that's right in this location that prevented it. Um, uh, we just talked today The inspection about port that. is an expansion. It's five feet off the, the last trench. You have, uh, you know, your regular trench, and then you have an expansion trench for future, and that's what that cover is. It attaches to both trenches. Okay, so, so um, that but that's not that captured on the as belt. Um, if, if you look at the planting plan from uh, Jilson, um, it doesn't show the inspection. But well, it's also not but on. Jonathan, where's on the here? sketch that you showed me out on? Here's. Um, I had I called Jay. Oh boy, of Jilson. The as well, there's the as built on the plants, the ones that are closest, and then he he, um, he located those same you know those same um, five trees right here. So 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 they're, they're certainly close, um, and the tree the trees are pretty much staggered. The clear the clear is the backup leach field or the reserve leach field. Once again, because it's such a small area, and they wanted to screen uh, from the Canterbergs, um, you know, it's tight. It's tight there. Can I just ask, what's temporary about the fence? 
um, if the what's temporary, it's 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 not a fancy fence right now. What's temporary? I, I think what you, were, you know, from what I, what I'm understanding is is you of course this fence is going to be temporary. Oh no, the existing fence. no, the existing this fence. Okay. Of course, he's view this as, as temporary, and I can understand. You know, it just chops up the middle middle of their yard. That's why we talked about it when it was yeah. when it came. You were you were there. I was there. Um, we talked about this fence. We said, you know, this is this is we we thought this might be a problem. Yeah, and we mentioned it, and but we said what we don't want to do is is impinge with fencing on the neighbors. I mean, we went through that discussion. So it's. But this is exactly what we were concerned about, that we wind up with fences right on the property lines. So if your fence went right along the, uh, you know, where the vegetation is, is that on the property line? Or you got, that's no, part of your property. The proposed fence is, is, is It is over here. Once, but once it's just got this slight change. No, I'm just sort of looking at the, pick up the photograph, yeah. you know, so that you get your yard. It's not going to protect a dog from coyotes. That, that was going right over a fence like that. Yeah. So I would still mind your mind your talk. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got that situation where it's right on the property line. Mm -hmm. This one, which is below this retaining wall, mm -hmm. for some reason, I can't imagine why anybody would want to use this sliver. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got this one where it literally jumps up over. There's a there's a I remember there's actually quite a wall here. Mm -hmm. It jumps up that wall and then right along the property line there. Now this one, um, the, the Van Heusens have sent a letter of support. Now Mr. Cohen is here and I don't... I, I, don't, will, I will support what they want to do. It's their property. You know something? The good neighbors put them out of defense. You yeah. know, support it. Okay? As long as it's on their property. I had a problem with a previous building that was common planned, cut down my trees, I want to be nice to my neighbors. They deserve the fence. Yeah, you don't mind that it's no, right no, in your yard? I want, the problem with the previous builder, he cut down my trees. I wanted trees planted. He didn't plant the trees. It's the only reason I brought suit against them. He was supposed to do something. The man alive like a fish. Oh, then he flooded my field, my leaching field, okay. when he drained his pool and it stopped me from running. Okay. So I think, <laughs> so I think the, the issue is down It's here. right here on this I, property. I, we're, we're aware that this was still considered an issue. So well, is I don't know if it is or isn't. Is, I just is that out. area on the photograph? Yeah, this is the area. It's sort of looking toward this area. Yeah. 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 Looking down. So I guess, what, once again, uh, what would be the problem with having the fence like inside, the, in, inside this area? I mean, it gets rid of I can understand. You. What, you, no one wants a fence going right through the yard. Well, this contour. I'd really like to hear what you think. Well, I mean, you, you guys remember, this was a very tight little sliver of land. Mm -hmm. The septic field is right here. If I had my preference, it would be to plant, to put the fence in front of that row of those really tall evergreens that we planted. But I'm being told that by the engineer that that's where the septic Well, why don't you just pull it back then, all the way up the, on this side of the screen plant? Here? Yeah. Right. Because then they couldn't screen it from themselves. The well, hope is to screen it from both. Well, they could, though. No, we can screen it. They can, they can plant the rhododendrons well, on that side. Well, the issue is here, and you can't. This is, this is the only yard we have. This is the only fire area I have for my kids. And this, this is the only, there's nothing in the front yard. This is the only lawn that there is for them to go out and play ball. Yeah, yeah, the front is pretty much preserved, but, but as far as I understand, it's this is where, grass I know when we, we went over, this is where the view issue was, and that's where the septic is, so the, the hope is that we'll be able to both screen it from the cannon birds and from the horses. But the whole idea from the get-go was to minimize the impact of whatever happened on this property from the cannon birds. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, we, we went through several sessions on No, I, I understand that, and I'm, I'm hoping the board agrees that, that, that um, planting that row of trees and uh, uh, rhododendrons in front of a fence that tends to disappear on its own anyway will accomplish that.
if you wove it up here, it's so much harder to maintain what's on the other side. I guess you put some gates or, or what have you, but it just, um, you know, the, I, I know there have been, I don't expect it here, but there's certainly been adverse possession cases when some of the line maintained them to that side. Of it. Well, mm -hmm. really, that's not, it was it 20 years for adverse possession in Massachusetts? Mm -hmm. It's got to be no, active. It's got to be active and clear. I, I guess it's you know maybe it's philosophical when it comes to, as long as it's a screen fence. I, I've always taken the attitude the closer you can get the fence to the property line, well, the better. You, if, if you can screen it, because you know, know, Mrs. The Camper, is whether it's acceptably screened from, from the neighbor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, if you want to talk adverse possession, uh, no, we don't want to talk adverse possession. Okay, I just want to you know. <laughs> um, uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but no really, really, it's not really a, this isn't really know, it's a not the thing. thing. Um, I, I don't know, it's, it, it's, it seems reasonable to me. It, it's, I, I understand, I, this is, this is, Susan's right, this, is, this isn't lawn that we're talking about, and it would be possible to put a gate in to maintain the, the, the wood chips, and it would, it would significantly diminish the impact on the Cannonbergs, which has always been a concern of ours from day one on this property. I mean, as you know, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I, I just think it seems like a reasonable compromise. She's not saying you've got to pull it all the way back to the original lines, um, which, you know, we could, let's face it, we could say that. Um, and so I think we're, we're looking for a, an answer that doesn't uh, destroy their ability to use their grass and still provides enough distance from the neighbor to make the neighbor feel more comfortable. So it seems like a reasonable suggestion. Mm -hmm. One thing to uh, Mrs. Cannonberg is, is, is you know, I, I'm a recent entry to this, but I, was, I wasn't aware that the issue was, was down the second well, apparently it is, Jonathan. What did you say? I couldn't hear you. Yes, the issue of the whole length of your... Uh, she doesn't want a fence right on our property line. I think that's the message. Here. Well, it's, it's I actually agree with Al that um, we don't really have to be physical at all, I don't believe. And that this is a very good solution to weave it through. Mm -hmm. It's a good compromise. It yep. gets you the law. Yeah. And, you know, and protects your neighbor from... Um, Having a fence in a place. So it's kind of, you know, logical. Okay. Um, I'm new to this process and I have to go. First of all, I'm not trying to put a fence in anyone's face. Okay. Um, and, and looking at this, it is, it is not right on the property line, it is six to eight feet off the property line, running all through this area, which is the woods. It's six to eight feet. Yeah. It's, it, it, in this one corner, it wasn't because there's a huge rock there and there's another rock there, and we had problems leaving it. And this what you're is, saying is that this is the scale. It, it, this, this, the fence is further, and it was six to eight feet. It goes down to. It's not true. I mean, it's not what the drawing shows. This is a one to 20 scale. So, um, well, I, this is like. This is like, this is like six feet, maybe here. Maybe eight feet there, but but in here it's you know down to that's like one foot. This this is this spot is very tight because of the way that there's a lot of heavy yeah. trees in this area. And let, let me finish. I mean, I, I've walked this many times at this point. Okay, this is not three feet in here. Okay, so the, the guy who did this did it in all this. It's even further than that. This from here out is the middle of the woods. There's no visibility from the house on any of this over here. Okay? No, no. You know, once again, um, she talked to the wrong person. She talked to a reliable fence. Oh, you don't need a permit. Make sure it's short. It's still her fault, but they put in, if you put in poles here. Yeah. So, you, I don't know, I don't think Kim, because Kim will move it quick. I don't think you were able to verify, but yet, yeah, it's not, not what this plan shows. The only place it's close. Can we get an accurate drawing? It sounds like we need an accurate drawing. If, 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 if this, if, if, if eight feet, Wayne, were you? I know Kevin didn't have a chance. Yeah, it's Joe, not, it's Joe, it's Joe it's you've seen it multiple yeah. times. Do you have the pictures? So this is um, on the 
the back side down here. That's why I was trying to push it in front here. And if that's a five foot extension on the existing, why can't that be cut down to a two foot extension and move I, I it farther that, away? What we have so to say is side. modify the septic system so that it works. Mm -hmm. It's as simple as that. But I think um, the only one we're talking about is here now. I think we hear you. We hear you here. That we've got to weave it. We've got to weave it there. Well, we need it. What we're talking about is an anecdotal description yeah. of a fence location, which may be more at what Susan is, is talking about than what this drawing shows. So I don't know what reality is right now. If this is not an accurate depiction of where the fence is, what are we doing? I don't know if members can make out stakes um, yes. right there. There. That's down in that back. That's the corner. That's the corner. Right. So I mean, it basically is like a foot. It is. Yeah, it's like a foot that. off. And that's that's, that's why I said in that one spot it is because there are very large trees in there and there's a very large hole well, there. Is this a straight fence line? It it it, it more slopes in yeah. as and you then get bobbles here. Right. As you get up to this, it does slightly come out. So up here, it probably is about three feet, and then it winds as it comes down here. Probably so it's not a straight fence feet. line. Which is what they're showing. Also, what I would like to suggest is, you know, we're we're hearing this is all woods. You can't see it. Maybe what we should do is go out and look at it. Let's look at it. I mean, we'll we'll listen to you, but we need to see what the reality is. Because Joe's pictures, while they're very nicely. <laughs> it's high resolution. <laughs> it's hard to tell what we're looking at. Um, so maybe we should just schedule a walk and see. Yeah. 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 I just want to make a couple of points, one of which is obvious, so forgive me. Um, Van Houten, uh, the corner of Cedar and Medical Grove, is elevated quite a bit higher. And is, if I were in the opposition, I wouldn't care about Cedar. And Cone's property is accordingly low. You can barely see the roof of this house from the level of the fence. And I'm right smack, I mean, I'm lower also, but lower in the worst way. So, um, unless the screening is placed right up against the house, it's visible. You might discuss this before when the, at the previous walks and so forth. So I want to just point out that there's, as I said, forgive me, it's not used to you guys. The two, the two neighbors are like this, and there's a reason why they don't object. That's Susan, that's I'm not questioning your reasons. Okay. No, I, mean, I just want to say that I'm not just weird. I'm no, not no. Being weird no. In this particular no, no, situation. I, and, no. and the other point I want to make is that Joe came out when I when, when he learned of this, and he found stakes that were on the property line. Right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't even see them. They were... Well, they were from the they were from the is it uh, that picture previous? that you just showed? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. so then I've done it again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, those things so, from the development. I guess it's just what you said that you have to see it because I don't know whether um, I think it's precision fence, isn't it? Um, it's precision fence. Just put them there. Um, part of the reason they put them there is they're not operating with the proper survey, which brings us to an area that you don't want to go to. We have a survey of our property, and we have, we don't have a dispute that I'm aware of with 46 cedar. Um, but according to the agreement that my lawyers have with the lawyers for Stevens, whatever settlement they make with Cohen should not affect our property. And because the, our property markers are flush with the ground and not a great big chunk of bound, I think that the precision fence used the wrong bound, which is another reason why it's important. Well, I have the right. property to so Sorry? I had the property no, reserved. There's no disagreement. There's no disagreement. Right. There's no disagreement. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> No, I had the property resurveyed by Jillson last yeah. week, and there's no disagreement on the property line. What, what happened was um, mm -hmm. they used not only the, the one that is the plan right there, but also used the Schofield plan um, that had been prepared previously and staked both. And the stakes were one on top of each other along this back portion. So the, the difference between Cohen and everyone on that side at least did not translate to this boundary between um, 46 Cedar and Mrs. Cannonburg's property. 
but I appreciate getting a copy of this famous new plan. I mean, this, we've, we've been in court almost a year on this lawsuit, and I'm hoping at some point it will be settled. Just to be clear, Susan, how, assuming that there is some kind of a discrepancy, how do you think that impacts what they're proposing to do on the... Not at all if they're not right on the property line. Uh -huh. But as Joan observed, not me, because I'm not that good at, um, you know, the way an architect is looking at the thing and seeing the, the structures and so forth. Joe, when I finally found the Schofield mark, the pin, the, the iron pin that's in the ground that's flush with the yellow top, and it was covered with leaves, and Joe said it was clear to him that the property line was defined by the concrete bound. Precision fencing is not a surveyor. They just look at what was, seemed to be obvious to them. They put a, a stripe or um, a, a flag around that. But the answer to your question is, the, the answer to your question is, is it doesn't make that much difference. It, the difference is very small, but there is a legal agreement between my lawyer and Stevens anyway, and yeah. I would hope that that would persist. And I, I don't think that Ms. Corsi cares, really. They just get it right. Yeah. I hope that Kevin O'Leary got it right. Yeah. If you got it right, it doesn't matter. And if they're not right on top of the property line, all the better. But the claim was made that they were offset from the property line when Joe came out, and here's a stake right on the property line. Well, I mean, also just the stakes that were there existing and then what um, Jilson did based on that sculptural plan were right on top of each other. And the fence, that's where the fence is like six inches off from all those stakes. I mean, those that line corresponded pretty much exactly. So it's not a question whether the fence was over the property line. Um, it's really just in that back corner, it gets close. Yeah. And then it, as you start going so up, it separates same, yeah. away from the property line. But it's, I think it's more of a question, is, is it separated enough? Is there vegetation that's in between? I think it's all um, separate discussion than the fact of the property line that the board is really concerned about. Right. Well, we can, we can take a look at it. Right. And, and my position is more or less what you said. It's just not a huge deal. It really isn't a huge deal. But considering all the legal foo fra and money that's been going down the drain on this lawsuit, it would be prudent to stay away from the property line. That's all I have to say. Okay, Mr. Cohen, you, you have okay. a comment. Okay, Jonathan, I need your help on this one as an attorney. Uh, the Schofield plan that everybody's referencing over here was a plan that was put on records with no backup, no legal backing, no legal bearings, no reference of any legal document. It is just a plan. You could have John Doe go out there and make the plan. That's what Mrs. Kinnebrook did. She had a higher surveyor. He made a plan. It is not referenced by anything. It is illegal. You can't go by it. So the same place, simple English, that plan is being thrown out by a land court judge. Yeah. I, th I think what, what we have to sit do is go out and look at the stakes, figure out where the fence is relative to the stakes, and figure out the best, what we believe to be the best alignment for the fence. There, 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 there are some differences over here. And that's what's still yeah. being litigated. Yeah. It's the two, these two property owners, there's no question. There's no difference in opinion on that. Don't try to yeah. Okay. Things get a little greater there. Yeah. Certainly not worth You were sworn to go resurvey the fresh when you can use that and work with uh, this neighborhood. And if you can figure out a if you can figure out a way to cite this fence, hearing the concerns that the board has as well as your neighbor, um, and get that on paper, that would be a good thing to do. Well, let's look at it first. Can we? Can you copy um, the survey? Is it possible? Can I get a copy of the survey? Well, the stakes are there. Well, it should, this should be a public. I don't know that Kevin put it on a new plan. I think he just restaked. He just staked the property based on the survey. Yeah. Um, it would be really handy considering all the legal from fro. And, and by the way, since Cohen said that, I'd just like to point out there's a second survey which was done by Metro West Engineering, well known to this town, which agrees with the Cohen survey. But that's not what's before. Okay. Us. I just, you know, these outrageous claims just don't, don't deserve them. Can, could we meet here um, 9 o'clock Tuesday? Um, after our 22 seers, and I realized we may start losing members after that site walk. Um, okay. 
Wait a minute. What are we talking about? Talking about a sidewalk next next week after yeah. nine Sears Road is two, twenty two Sears is at eight. Mm -hmm. So if we could do this at nine. It's, I'm looking forward to those sidewalks the day, the day after town meeting. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. Believe it. Um, Great. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll come and descend on you on Tuesday uh, next week at, at 9 o'clock. And we'll walk and, and see what works, what seems to work out the best. Okay. You should get coffee if you want. <laughs> all right, morning, no, that's all right. We don't want to be bribed by well, coffee. <laughs> right, coffee will do it. I just want a picture. Can well, I have a picture, I, please? I have a quote from years ago, Ann Lieberman's made a mistake going. It wasn't a mistake. She had went to something where someone was offering wine and cheese, and she said, tell me, I'll have you know I can't be bought for a glass, glass of wine and a little piece of cheese. <laughs> yeah, I'll always remember that. And one of our best select people ever. All right, thank you very much. Well, are you looking for a copy of this? I have this, but what, I, what I guess you, I... What do you need, Susan? If, if this is what you're saying uh, Kevin has stayed, then this is good enough, right? I, I guess. Uh, um, my, my problem is when Joe and I were out there, and maybe I missed something, when Joe and I were out there, Joe agreed based on his observation of the wine that he made a wine site with Zai, that that went to Boulder, and whatever anybody else may say, we have an agreement between Stevens and us, because that was the last time we made, the predecessor, and that I don't think, of course, there's any reason to disagree with that, that their settlement in the ZBA with Cohen would not impact our common border. Okay. Okay, right. so it should be moot. There should be nothing involved here, but I just want to make sure I know what it is so that when we talk about where the test is going to be, we're all on the same Page. Sorry, I understand, but, but what is the, do you think there's a drawing there that, that, that pulls it all together? I what guess is it you're, you're asking I'm, I'm you're asking for a picture that something. shows what the property line is that's going to be observed when the location of the, tr of the fence eventually gets placed. And you think it's not this? No, no, this may be it. If, if you're now saying this yeah, is I mean, it. That's, that's, that's this it because, is one, this is what they're submitting, but it's based off of the plan the board approved in its modification back in um, uh, December 2012 when that little strip changed the, the property um, dimension more. Then we don't even, yeah, okay. I mean, we don't even have to get it. And, this, and this, this post did end up right here in the line because it would they put the post in before I had the lot you surveyed, and I didn't realize the type was. So I'm happy yeah. to pull that out. Oh, all right. Okay. So, so, so I don't want to. I want to stay out of that. But what I do want to do is, yeah. recently, I mean, yeah. again, a bit longer. I want, I want to preserve we'll as much of the yard right. as we can. Yeah, no, we, we, we understand. So we're trying so, to strike a balance between okay. screening her and letting you. Have play area. I think also the drawing that was made, I'm sorry, by. I'm sorry, but if you need to be, you know, to feel confident in terms of where the property line is, I think that that comes through, you know, you're getting a, a surveyor to do that. Yeah, I have two. Well, I have two. One good one should do it. Well, two good <laughs> ones. So the surveyors on this corner. It looks like a slalom course out there. Thank you, guys. Well, you very much for agree. putting up with this one does. I don't think it is. This one does. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 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 I think you have to state that because when you're going ahead and the to it was to see the kids play, but it was going to be a it was being out there, it's all around. Okay, thanks. We've got to go on to the All right, thanks. Is that for it? Uh, 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 my Michael Lee says that. Thank you. Oh, my.